When the separation of powers is mentioned, people tend to think of three branches of government, a legislature, an executive branch, and a judiciary. But Taiwan's government has two additional branches, the examination yuan that selects civil servants and the control yuan, a watchdog agency. Now the ruling DPP wants to scrap them to streamline and modernize the government. On Sunday, Legislative Speaker Yoshi Kun said the abolition of the two agencies should be put to a referendum. <laughs> Legislative Speaker Yoshi Kun on Sunday attended a launch of a new book about the 228 incident, a bloody massacre of civilians by the China-based KMT in 1947. This book is called The 228 Rebellion Movement. I think the last book she wrote was very good. I have read it. Although I haven't finished this one, I know it's also very exciting. The book's author, Huang Hui Jun, believes that after the 228 incident erupted, local elections could have been held in accordance with Taiwanese law. But things didn't turn out as people expected, and instead prominent intellectuals were persecuted. She says it was the most unfortunate event in Taiwan's history. The 228 incident was actually a massacre carried out by an authoritarian ruler who was unwilling to return power to the people after the constitution was approved. Tomb sweeping day is coming. Who has no father? Some people have to bear the pain of having no grave to sweep, no one to worship on the anniversary of someone's death. I think if you are Taiwanese, you should know more about Taiwan's history. I hope that Taiwan can become a normal country, one that the international community can recognize and that can join the United Nations. There's quite a long road ahead. Now that Taiwan has successfully become democratized, Yol stressed that the legislature's passage of a proposal to lower the voting age to 18 is not enough. There are still tough battles ahead for Taiwan to become a bona fide country. I will announce this in the legislative yuan on Monday, and in six months, the bill will be sent to the Central Election Commission so it can organize a referendum. If our aim is the separation of three powers, then we have to abolish the examination yuan and control yuan. A referendum on this won't make it for the upcoming local elections, but if we coordinate it with the presidential election, there is still a chance for the referendum to be held then. Yo wants to see a referendum on amending the constitution to eliminate these two branches of government carried out during the 2024 election. This is in addition to his support of a referendum to approve lowering the voting age to 18 which will likely be held at the year-end municipal elections.